think about nerves and think about brain. Do you know what most of your brain is made out of? Fat, 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 fat. So is it important consumption of healthy fats to actually allow these cells to actually grow or heal 100%. <laughs> Now, the other thing being said is food. Does food make a big difference uh, in brain inflammation, in injuring your brain or preventing healing? And the answer is hell yes. I know that Diane was asking in the group multiple places, does food make a big difference? Does food make a difference in autoimmunity, brain injury? And the answer is yes. So we know that certain foods absolutely can trigger inflammation, period. And how many of you know that when you eat a certain food, um, that you can feel mental health symptoms like brain fog, okay? Or depression and anxiety or palpitations, right? So you tell me that food doesn't have an impact upon your brain function and healing. It absolutely does. But yet for me, most people dealing with food go on fricking another elimination diet. I'm gonna eliminate another 90 foods, another 90 foods, another 90 foods. How many of you are on an elimination diet or your 10th elimination diet and you still have horrible brain fog, horrible brain processing, horrible mood issues right now, right in the comment section? Tell me, please, because I was one of those people. So for me, it's really important. Data, 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 data is where it's at. Just like I said about hormones, you need data. And we use food mapping. It's a unique process in our program, Transform Autoimmune, which specifically uses a blood test that we ship out to you to actually identify which foods is triggering your autoimmune attack, inflammation, brain recovery issues. It is there in black and white, basically, or actually it's in color. Um, that tells you which foods is actually triggering the attack. But the good thing about it is most people in our program find that when they get the data from food mapping, they're reintroducing a shit ton of stuff that they eliminate it for no reason. And do you know what happens when you eliminate hundreds of foods for no reason is that you become more and more nutritionally depleted, okay? Which is why for me, a huge part of why people don't heal from brain injury is nutrient and depletion. A lot of vitamins and minerals get depleted like crazy from people on elimination diets. So I am the opposite of the elimination diet our program and me is all about using data, scientific data in food mapping to show you exactly which foods to remove, but how many more things you can reintroduce and find joy in cooking again and healing your brain and your family's brain while you're at it, right? So food mapping is gonna be really important. You know what? I'm gonna talk about the first most important supplement when it comes to your brain. And this is important, not just in healing brain, but for developing brain, like for kids. So yeah. So number one, we're gonna talk about what is the role of fish oil or omegas in brain health, like in developing brain or in brain recovery. And for me, um, this is our product, Pro Omega 1000. That's, um, that's um, the fish oil that uh, we have in our program. Think about nerves and think about brain. Do you know what most of your brain is made out of? Fat, 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 fat. So is it important consumption of healthy fats to actually allow these cells to actually grow or heal 100%? But there's so much misunderstanding around omegas, you know? And so for me, in our program, Transform Autoimmune, um, I've, there's actually a whole um, video um, training that I do going through the scientific breakdown of omega-3s, omega-6s, and talking all about it. But I'm going to just summarize it here for you guys, which is that um, you really want a great quality fish oil. And 90% of fish oils out there suck because they're rancid and really low quality or high in pesticides or, or mercury. Those things are really important to exclude from quality fish oil. So Pro Omega 1000, we're talking about a really high quality fish oil, right? Which you don't want to eat a high dose of a fish oil that has all these pesticides or mercury, right? So, and you also don't want fish oils that rancid. If it's rancid, it's bad. If you burp up fish, when you take a fish oil, it's rancid, it's bad. It's not gonna be actually, you don't want rancid fat in your brain, do you? No. So it's really important to get a good quality fish oil. And one that's really high in omega-3s, uh, we find that omega-3s, a high level of omega-3s really fuels uh, the anti-inflammatory pathway as well. So besides being healthy fat for your brain, omega-3s are anti-inflammatory. 
Okay, so it decreases arachidonic acid. It actually helps omega threes, which will turn into DHA, which is incredible for the brain. It will also turn into downstream something called SPM, another molecule, which is incredible for anti-inflammatory. Uh, Monica says complete nutrition nutrient wreck before Maggie. Now we're turning to food and my health. Ah, I thank you for all the alumni who are joining us here. But anyway, um, what I'm finding is is that in fish oil, you want a really good quality, right? We carry Pro Omega 1000. I also like it because it's 1000, and it's really easy then to remember how much you need to take. For me, the ideal dose to really help in brain injury, and it's also the same dose in autoimmune disease, right, is about three to 4,000 I use a day. And what I tell people in our program is to take three of these a day, three of these bad boys a day is 3,000. And then we work on using diet for the remainder of the 1,000. So 3,000 milligrams of a quality fish oil. Uh, this one is a thousand, so it's easy to calculate. So it's three of those a day. I personally take one in the morning. I take two at night. That's going to be really important for brain injury recovery, period. Okay. And so this is amazing for that.